Okay, today we have we got these little beauties. These beauties. These little beauties. Belgium endive. That's what we're going to juice today. I wish I had a few more of these. Uh, for this particular recipe, I would use six endives, maybe uh, seven endives, end, uh, these little endives, one cucumber and four apples. And this is a video demonstrating juicing leafy vegetables. This is for beginners. This is a beginner's video. Beginner juicer. If you're just going to get thinking about getting into juicing, or you just started juicing, this can give you an idea of how it's done. So, we slowly put the endive leaves in the juicer. This is a masticating juicer that has a yawl that slowly spins and grinds the juice out and the pulp comes out the rear end here. As opposed to a centrifugal juicer which has a high spinning blade and gets the job done a lot faster, although it is believed by many that the high spinning blade destroys enzymes at the point where the blade meets the fruit or vegetable on account of the heat that builds up at that particular point. So in this slow yaw, turning yaw here, there is not heat built, heat is not built up. So, you wind up with more enzymes. Now, it's funny how the Belgian enzyme comes out like a a pinkish color, even though the vegetable is green. Endive, I feel, is a very, very highly nutritious vegetable. And uh, specifically, highly strong, uh, it's a very strong anti-inflammatory vegetable with a uh, wide variety of vitamins and minerals, uh, amino acids, uh, omega 3s and 6s, uh, endive is in the chicory family. And chicory is an excellent Anything in the chicory family is excellent to, uh, like ascarol, it's an excellent juicing uh, vegetable for their nutrition. So, there's a lot of water in here too, because actually, those four are enough, because I'm getting myself six ounces or so, six ounces here of juice. Endive juice. I'm going to try something. I'm going to put this endive juice through. Uh, try to get it through one more time to see if I get any more uh, juice out of her. Uh, am I getting more juice? I seem to be getting more juice here. But this is kind of mushy, so I'm afraid anything that doesn't have a lot of fiber gonna 
get clogged up in here. But we are getting more juice out of it. And it is going through. So you're gonna peel off the poison here. Because this is a conventional cucumber. It's got pesticides, herbicides, and other matter embedded in the skin. So you don't want to juice this baby, this skin. If it's organic, you, you want to juice it with the skin on. If anybody out there that happens to be watching this video knows how much organic cucumbers are in their area going for please post underneath the video because I'm interested to know, know the organic prices for cucumbers throughout the world now we slice the cucumber up and swish her on through Push it on through, baby. <laughs> A lot of water in cucumbers. You see, it's another thing to think about also. Our sources of water in the world are compromised. They're compromised with chemicals and all kinds of garbage. Oh, but uh, I'm sure they're throwing enough chlorine and fluorine in the water to kill any bacteria. See, now you don't want to ingest anything that's in municipal waters. I'd be buying myself those bottles of spring water if I were you. And But see, now this here, you're getting pure. This is the filter. The vegetable is the filter. You're getting pure pure water out here and it's an alkalized water and it's also structured. So in that respect alone juicing is highly uh, juicing is excellent for your health because of the water content and the kind of water content that's in there, the quality of it is, I don't know, as far as I'm concerned, it's unmatchable. It, you can't match it. I mean, unless you know where there's a spring. Spring water is the best coming right out of the spring. Get find in your area. If you, if you go on the internet, you could find out where there are springs in your area. See, by, by me, I live way out on Long Island. They closed the good one they had. Cold Spring Harbors out on Long Island. They closed the spring. Like, you're not allowed to uh, get the water out of there anymore. Now, why would they do something like that? You see? Thank you, municipal government. Thank you very much for closing down the spring. For making it non-public. Although, what are you going to do? You know, this is what we have today in our pathological society. They're going to shut down springs. They're going to stop people from getting water from fresh springs. Uh, you know, it was probably in the area where people were complaining. There were people... People coming up all the time with piles, getting water right there, you know. And so, <laughs> the complainers got their way. But, like I say, in your area, you see, now if I, tra I travel further up upstate New York, I'm sure there are many, there are many springs up there. But for me, that's hundreds of miles away. <laughs> so I'm stuck. I'm going to go out and buy myself bottled spring water. That's what I use. 
Anybody got any other better ideas? Post them down below. And don't give me an idea for so one of those expensive filters for my water supply. That's it's not gonna happen. Because I don't have the cash to do that. Would I be eating conventional would I be juicing conventional vegetables if I had the cash to go out and buy myself alkalizing filters? Okay. So at any rate, I'm getting a lot of water through here. Nutrition. See, now these are conventional apples. But in apples, I leave the skin on. I washed them real good with soap and water. Dishwashing soap and water and rinsed them real good. And now they're squeaky. Squeaky clean. Whereas before, if I did that, my hands would have a, a, a sheen of grease on it, some kind of a waxy grease. You don't want to be eating that. You don't want to be juicing that. So, I would have to say an unwashed apple is one of the most dangerous, an uh, unwashed conventional apple is the most, one of the most dangerous things you can eat if you don't wash it. Because, uh, you're getting a heavy dose of pesticides and herbicides and all kinds of other nonsense. Waxes and oils and everything else that happens to get caught up in the wax and the oil. Cucumbers too. Cucumbers, they, they do the same kind of thing with cucumbers. Okay. Now, let's, we're going to see what this baby tastes like. Going to have about a quart and a quarter to a quart, quart and a third, quart and a quarter of juice here of Belgium endive juice. Belgium endive. They're beautiful little things, those little Belgium endives. You gotta love them. Um, you gotta love them. So what do we come out here? Some kind of a light brown drink? Interesting. And here we're gonna go. I'm gonna give this baby a taste test. All vegetables taste delicious. Yeah! Wonderful!